In this video we're going to have a look at rates of reactions, we'll take a look at collision theory, what reasons there are for a chemical reaction to occur, and then different factors that affect the speed or the rate of a chemical reaction. So the first thing we're going to think about is why does a chemical reaction happen? What causes two particles of a chemical to react together? If those two particles don't collide with each other, there won't be a collision. So those particles then didn't collide, therefore no reaction will occur. If they collide, but with a very, very small amount of energy, very slowly, then there still won't be a chemical reaction. For the chemical reaction to occur, the particles need to collide with a sufficient amount of energy. We call that amount of energy the activation energy. This is what we call, this idea, collision theory. And it states that for a chemical reaction to occur, the two reactant particles must collide with enough energy, the activation energy. And then the rate of the chemical reaction is dependent on the number of successful collisions. So a successful collision is where the two particles collide with that activation energy, with enough energy for it to occur. We're now going to have a look at the different factors that can affect the rate of a chemical reaction. The first one we're going to look at is concentration. At a very low concentration, there are going to be very few collisions between particles. There aren't many particles, lots of spaces. Those reactant particles won't collide very often. If you increase the concentration, as I've done here, lots and lots of the reactant particles, that means there are going to be more collisions and therefore it's likely more of them will be successful. So there we go, they can move around. As you can see, lots of collisions between those particles. That means we're going to have a higher rate of reaction. The second factor that we're going to look at is temperature. If the temperature is quite low, the particles will move very slowly. Therefore, it's unlikely they are going to collide with a sufficient amount of energy for the reaction to occur. If we increase the temperature, those particles are then going to have more energy, so therefore they will react slightly faster. There we go, those particles, lots of energy moving very quickly, therefore more of the reactions are going to be successful. We can also increase the rate of reaction by increasing the surface area. So I'm going to take these two particles and I'm going to break them into smaller pieces. The surface area of those particles is now much, much bigger. Lots of extra spaces for reactions to occur. If you increase the surface area of the particles, there will be more collisions and therefore a faster rate. So watch what happens as I increase the surface area. Lots more collisions likely to happen lots of area for those particles to get as opposed to just the large particles with a small surface area. The final factor that can affect the rate of a reaction is a catalyst. and A catalyst allows the reactions to occur faster because they reduce the amount of energy needed. So before we had a catalyst we might have a collision that occurs very slowly without the activation energy therefore there's no reaction. However when we add a catalyst particles collide with still not enough energy ordinarily but because there's a catalyst the catalyst allows those reactions to occur it reduces the activation energy therefore you can have more successful collisions and a faster rate of reaction so to summarize there are four key factors that we can do to increase the rate of a chemical reaction those factors are firstly concentration of the reactant particles. If you have a higher concentration of the reactant particles you will have a faster rate of reaction. Second thing is temperature. A higher temperature means a faster rate. Third thing is surface area. If you increase the surface area you increase the rate of reaction. And the last one is the addition of a catalyst. With the addition of a catalyst reactions move faster, increasing the rate. 